Right, I think those missions give you almost as much in terms of rewards as smash and grabs do. Wow, They're... that's pretty good then. This is yeah. a lot easier than smash and grab. Speaking of smash and grabs, we got one to set up for. Yeah, and it's going to be strength 3 with a poor timer. So this is going to be something we want laser weapons on. Okay. For sure. All right, uh, who do we have available for this? Smash and grab, kill shit, uh, infiltration, fixed evac, revealed stars. We want a shinobi in here if we possibly can. Do we have a shinobi? No. Uh, resilience training. Why are we training all of our shinobis at the same time again? Because we play two hours a day and don't remember what's going on, probably. Yeah, that's, it. that's probably a pretty good bet. How far off is like Oscar Mike finishing? I don't remember how to check. We'll tell you on the Geoscape. Geoscape. Or it says one hour. So you can just I wait one hour. Yeah, okay. That's pretty good then. So that's 50 more ticks, 55 more ticks. We'll get our hour. Get our infiltration. Oh. Hmm. If you scan, it will stop automatically. I don't know if it will like stop automatically faster if you don't scan though like it might scan slightly past the minute this right, is not a thing that probably cool. matters much yeah okay yeah it does stop automatically for that mm -hmm. and we got oscar mike which you said is the greatest thing ever in late game so i'm gonna believe you on that uh let's go set up the mission smash and grab six days confirm shinobi thanatos cool uh like an assault in here, personally. Take a ranger, maybe for that first overwatch. Uh, well, how accurate is that ranger? 60, oh, 76, that's not terrible. I'd take a technical, I'd take a ranger, I'd take a gunner, probably. Okay. One thing that I'd be considering here and it's like a small consideration, but something to think about over the course of the long campaign is that every mission that a soldier goes on under the command of an officer, they start picking up bonuses. I believe it's to dodge, will, and infiltration speed mm. when they're on a mission commanded by that officer. And since this is our first officer and we're already going to a... Is this a second officer? Never mind. Uh, <laughs> Since we're going to a fairly difficult mission, I wouldn't mind just throwing like together the A team for the first time here. And what is and your, in, in your mind? What do you actually think the A team is here? What is the A team? Yeah. So you think tactical specialist gunner assault shinobi? Like just the top five soldiers. In terms like of uh, their, their promotions. Yeah. Okay. Fine with that. Is Wait, our babysitter is a sergeant. Oh, he's leveled. Yeah, he's a sergeant now. Sergeant Sniper. Okay, 104%. Seems decent. Just send him off. All right, uh, let's take a look at their weapons. SMG. We could do a little bit more loadout on Kate. Um, this is our... It feels kind of bad to have our... This this technical deployed here, though. Because she has so many abilities that she could use that she won't be able to use here because everything's going to start aggroed. I just give her a laser rifle, and a laser they may rifle. come up. Yeah. Oh god. You can build a laser SMG for her if you really want. But the problem with building a laser SMG is that it is just sort of less relevant to other soldiers. It's one of those things where you want replaceable parts, and laser rifles are much more equipable to everybody than SMGs are. I thought we built more laser rifles than this. Are we? Sh we don't have enough to build a. You checked. You saw rather that we didn't have enough for another laser rifle. Try hitting make weapons available. I did. They must be on a mission somewhere. Okay. Well, we can build more just like from this interface. Just go build items. Do we have? Oh, we do have supplies. Another laser rifle then. At least one. At least one more laser rifle. Yeah. His uh, fleet definitely needs one because he's got a bazillion. He had it. Anyways, okay. And. Okay, gunner, we don't have the tech for you yet. Shotgun's a shotgun. SMG is an SMG. That looks fine to me. You want a laser rifle on Kate? I don't feel like Kate's going to be using that laser rifle very much. 
again, we've given her Iron Curtain in Rupture, but is that actually useful? Um, I'll try it. If you like, if you tell me we should try this, I'll try it. But my suspicion is, I don't know what the hell we're going to do with that. All right. Uh, and we have, where's the one that does it for reaction fire? What's it called? It's a hair trigger. Hair trigger. Doesn't look like we have any right now. Yeah, so the laser rifle on the technical is largely for just making her overwatch shots a lot better. It has a much better range table at like 17 tile distance, and it deals more damage. So it's going to be an extra, on average, two damage just from overwatch on the mission or something like that. Okay. Is that actually going to be useful, you think? 32% grenades. Mm, you give her some put armor? Some, yeah, nano scale vests on most of the team, I'd say. You think pistol? She's, oh. not, she's not an officer. Uh, now people can't hear me sometimes. Yeah, it's ho you, can't, you can never. There's no way of ever pleasing everybody on audio, audio and if you do that, you'll, you'll drive yourself insane. Try to please the majority, but not everybody. It's just not, it's just not a thing. Alright, uh, more armors on these guys is the specialist. I like the grenade for the guaranteed damage. Let's run a... No, we don't have any more of that stupid armor. Yeah, we do. Must have. You don't have any more of that armor? Oh, because it's nanoscale, not ceramic. Okay, never mind. You can build more of it. I would build more of it. I'm going to be equipping that on like 15 soldiers in mid-game. So, building it now is fine. Okay. I wouldn't mind going like tracer rounds nanoscale on the specialist. And just using the sentinel to shoot twice a turn. Okay. I'm going to try it. And like give the rifle more equipment attachments. Yep. Like what? Auto loader, advanced expanded mag. I'd give him that already, didn't I? Or I put on the other one, put on the other one. Okay. Something else you'd like on there? Do you want a scope? I don't think we're going to be doing much non scope shooting yeah. with this character, right? No, I'd be a reload of reloading. Else. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't mind some flashbangs and the rest of them. There's flashbang there. I'm going to put a flashbang on the Shinobi. Just in case. I might run a flashbang on the gunner. I think the gunner needs a nano scale really badly, but you could like move the med kit to somebody else. Go flashbang nano scale. You could also just not run a med kit on this mission. If you're failing. Daring. You do have Oscar Mike to power your soldiers carrying someone to evac. Hmm, that's a good point. Uh, I just wanted to drop that. Do you want? Yeah. I kind of want to give some armor to this Shinobi, so I can actually yes. Shinobi some shit. So I'm pretty happy if all five soldiers have nano scales. Yeah, we gotta like, build one just... more. I kind of like it too. So yeah, we kind of given up on consumables things. We can't bring all the armor plus all the other stuff. Uh, I'm gonna drop the grenade. Put nano scale there. I want I at least want some flashbangs in case sectoids are being annoying. We only have two right now, three right now, I guess. Four right now, I guess. I guess four flashbangs would probably do it. No real grenades at all. How do you feel about that? I feel like a frag on my assault or something like that. Just to have one in case something's in light cover and you want to shoot it, something like that. Yeah. Okay. It's just a little bit more flexible, maybe. Oh, up to 100%. All right, let's throw on a. Is your sight? And what's this one? Suppressor. We need a little bit more infiltration time, sure. I think an advanced suppressor on your gunner could get you there. Okay. Alright. Done. A team, huh? Willpower. What was that three again? Willpower, infiltration dodge. time, and dodge. Okay. I think it stacks up to 20 times for those. Quite a lot. Yeah. But it's like very small stacking. It's not a large amount each time. So we have intel over here, and we're on hiding over here, right? We're on supply to try to make them retaliate against us. OK. I don't know. It's an interesting strategy. I think it will be good. All right, 101% infiltration, but let it go a little further. We have Mysterious Swordsman has now picked up resilience. Huh. 
You want to run Guardian on Resilience? You love Guardian. Oh, well. you love I don't it. know. Be. You love it. You're so thrilled about that right now. Anything Overwatch perk you're like, you sign me up for even when I have no desire to use it. That one, we can agree, is not very appealing. Okay. We don't want our Shinobi to be Overwatching a huge amount in this campaign. We gotta figure out these guys. <sighs> I hate this. There's gotta be a better... Inf if this, do we not have any mods that are better for interface than for figuring out which perks are available to train? Nope. That's terrible. So what is this? Sun in Exile is a Shinobi. Uh, we don't really want these things with him. I designed a uh, like barracks interface that would do it, but I don't know how to mod it, and I haven't successfully like mm. shopped it out to a modder. I see. Uh, this is a technical with uh, nothing that we're gonna use. Let's keep going. Oops. This is a ranger. You're okay with smoke grenade on rangers? Yeah, I think it would be fine. Okay, we'll look at that then. It's pretty close, and that one's pretty much done. Unless we want more things on, what is this, another technical? No. I think we're back all the way around now. Okay. At some point, you can train pistol perks on the technical. Uh, especially paired with red screen rounds, you can like shoot a sectopod five times in late game with red screen rounds, and then just mind control it with 100% success rate with a specialist. That sounds fun. Yeah. Do we have someone else we could officer train right no. now? Uh, it's not in this one, is it? It's the other one, as per always. Officer. Another shinobi? Go for the second level on Sun and Exile. Okay. Hmm. Twice for mission, spend an action to grant all allies within command range plus 20 bonus to critical hit chances the remainder of the... Turn. Turn. It says turn. Might be something different. They might have changed this since you've read it last. Incoming. Activates the ability to grant everyone with the command range four points of damage resistance against explosive attacks for the end of the al next alien turn. Wow, both of those sound terrible to me. I guess I would take get some as opposed to incoming, but maybe you'll tell me there's some reason not to. Uh, the big things that these do... <laughs> Get some combos with Koopy Carry for sharpshooters to let you like one shot a gatekeeper late game. And incoming uh, lets you abuse enemy mech AI. They basically always use micro missiles if you put two soldiers next to each other. And the micro missiles don't destroy cover reliably at all. Basically, they never do. And they don't deal any damage if you press the incoming button. Uh, so that sounds not terrible, actually. There could be times where that could be useful, I suppose. I don't know, which would you recommend? Well, since we don't have a sharpshooter with Kubi Carry, I think I'd just go incoming. Okay. Is there some other benefit them to being a higher level officer? More charges of command. Okay. I think that's all. Oh, we have a new sharpshooter. Maybe we do have a Kubi Carry sharpshooter. She's a long way away, though. Yep. I don't think we have any more rookies to train. I think they're all leveled now. Right. Uh, we lost 25 bucks. That was because there were faceless in the Haven, but we've probably cleared them out now. Okay. Is that Corporal available? All right. Um, this is what's upcoming? No. I have firewalls. Center of yeah, maps. that's what they're working on right now. Jesus, that's irritating. Okay, supply drop. Go investigate that. Let's do it after the next round of missions. Yeah, we can even leave that until next month if we don't need the supply for anything in the meanwhile. Like a day's scan time for 42 supplies is sort of eh. Commander, nice laser cannon. We got some new, new cool stuff. We should perform the autopsy as soon as possible. What was the laser lance? A quick through it. That was the, the sniper rifle. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have enough to just start combat armor. I don't think there's a reason to do something other than weapons and armor there. If you want to get really tricky, you could like go for incendiary grenades or something. But seven to eight hours. Get an engineer, which we need. That sounds quite promising. Yeah, that's liberation two as well. That that means that we can 
assuming that we can beat this, we can almost for sure liberate this haven. That'd be awesome. All right, so we'd like to go ahead. We have a lot of time on this. It'd be nice to go uh, heavy on this. Although our characters are not that heavy. We have a overleveled sharpshooter, but this is not a mission where sharpshooter sounds like it's going to be very good. And we have a ranger that's sitting around too, a corporal ranger that we could grab for this. Yeah, with the laser rifle, that's like a pretty strong soldier right now. We could also pop out uh, Sun and Exile, but I think Sun and Exile, if I remember correctly, is our Ghostwalker Shinobi, not our Combat Shinobi. But I'm not 100% certain on that. I mean, we're definitely uh, bringing at least one technical on this. We're definitely bringing Wallace. Yeah, I'd go like double technical Shinobi Ranger. I'm not sure what the last soldier is. Maybe just go double ranger, double technical shinobi, double ranger. Uh, You'd have to cancel smoker training and pull out the haven advisor. Okay, fine with that. Um, you'd bring this shinobi though, not the officer shinobi. Yeah, she has blade master, right? So she's probably actually just a better soldier, despite being under leveled and not having. Yep. Oh, and resilience. Yeah. So first thing we need to do is grab from the AWC, and it was smoker, right? And then it was the Haven Advisor from here, I think. Okay. And the mission was VIP from Edmundsville. It's funny because your your approach to assigning soldiers to missions, especially at this right now, seems to be essentially whoever's available. Don't worry about their composition so much. Two rangers, well, two I think, technicals. I think double ranger, double technical is pretty solid. You have good Overwatch against incoming pods, and then you kill them. It's not a complicated team. You can, we can bring use rockets to remove cover and then, you know, kill the guys who are uncovered. Specialists? Specialists. Yeah, specialists yeah. are really strong with the laser rifle right now, too. All right. Uh, I don't know if we have a laser rifle for the specialist, but we can take a look around. And we can build one, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. I assume that we're building several laser rifles here for the rangers already. Oh, we have 14 supply. Hmm. We well, should probably go to the black market. Well, hold on just a second, because the only other thing is I think we're pretty close over here. To Is there some way I can tell when I click on 120% infiltration how long? Just left click on it. I thought I did. Yeah, it says vulnerable, which means that we have ticked from... Yeah, we've ticked through the threshold that was somewhere between 100 and 125%. So we might have just launch this, right? Happened. Normal to vulnerable. We should, yeah. Okay. Go for it. That. And then that may get us some supply. And it might also give us some of our laser rifles back. I can't remember if these guys have them or not. I think, oh. I think they do. That's so smart. I didn't even think of that somehow. <laughs> well, you're up. So, as he's finished um, banging his young bride, and uh, she's sitting yeah. there contemplating her mortality and how that didn't seem all that good, and she's about to die, she calls in her sister and starts telling yes, her a story. She is. She's telling her the story about Frag. So, XCOM detected a large UFO landing, I believe in April of the first year, and equipped like a pretty decent team. Uh, Frag was sort of the preeminent soldier on the mission, an infantry built around overwatching largely. Hmm. And the team deployed below the control room of the large UFO, which meant that they had the entire UFO between themselves and the command pod, and over an excruciating amount of turns with very slow maneuvering and killing, they were able to clear all of the map except for the command pod, composed of six outsiders, including a leader outsider, with 20 or more hit points, damage reduction, extra perks, things like that. Mm -hmm. I played this, I think. And the commander, whose name was Captain Quick Dog, was, was faced with the decision of how he was going to cope with this final six outsider pod with, you know, early game, fairly underleveled XCOM resistance soldiers. Sure. He hatched a plan to open the door and activate the pod, fall backwards, relying on frags, overwatch perks, and heavy cover to deal with the outsiders as they came. Well, that sounds like probably the only plan he has available, literally, because he's in fucking April. But uh, it doesn't sound like a very good plan. So I'll be curious to hear how that turned out for him. 
And probably the Emperor was interested in hearing too. This is Avenger. The access point Him and his Viscount. Oh, he's an Emperor now? Okay. What was he before? A king. Oh, I think he got promoted. Leveled up. Alright, so we're stuck on this roof for all time. <laughs> that would be very funny if you just arrive in the roof with like an actual combat team and they're like, uh, we're on a roof. You didn't give us a ladder. We do have laser rifles here. Two of them. Alright, uh, let's get moving. So they don't know we're here. Uh, what do I have over here? This is a ranger. This is a specialist. Uh, grenadier. Uh, assault. Gunner. Back to the ranger. Okay. Oh, I got Shinobi. Why didn't the Shinobi get... Oh, it's not a Shinobi. It's just it's that fucking combat knife. Look at the size of that thing. That's a sword. It's not a combat knife. She certainly wields it like it's a sword. That's a goddamn short sword. It's the length from her shoulder blade to her hip. Absolutely. All right. Well, that makes so much more sense. Okay. And it's already covered in advent blood. Probably. I okay. don't know. I think she stabbed a drone with it once. Where's the exit? Exit. The side of the map's over here. It's kind of awkward to get to where we want to go, but I guess there's line of sight through windows over this way. I'd probably come around the side here like this. This gives me some line of sight. I seem to have a little bit of line of sight over here. I think we could still get screwed coming down this, but I don't know any way to avoid that. I think you're probably also strong enough to just go straight at the objective and kill everything. And that This doesn't look like risks. good terrain to fight on though. I mean maybe this is I guess that's destructible heavy cover. But there's a lot of yeah. stumps and trees and that kind of garbage. It risks wounds a little bit more, but it gets you loot a lot better. Just going straight at it. I guess this is our yep, first or second mission with now. lasers, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm sure this will go. There's well. also vigilance active, so detection rangers are going to be super big. That's fun. So just watch out for that. It's probably only like an extra two tiles of radius or something, but it's still going to feel a huge amount more. Okay. How do you feel about? This terrain is so bad to move across. I don't know what you're talking about. We get anger of like sight on like all fucking sides. Everyone they have is heavy cover and all of our stuff is flanked. Are you sure you want to go this way? Being such a naysayer today. <laughs> I just want to kill them. Fine, we'll go expose ourselves. Sorry. I'm a simple man. Um, I mean, we could go around the side and it would be fine. It would be much like the way we've been playing the other missions, except that Vigilance is active, so it would be a little bit more likely to trigger. Well, I mean, I'm um, not sure where else we're vision. going right now, because that gave us basically no extra sight. I can move to, like, yep. here or something, but... This is such a cool building. It's pretty useless for trying to play around, though. Yeah, I guess we're concealed. I guess I could try to do something like this. Wish more maps over there. There's a fuck ton of map over there. I would, I would err toward the right side, and so we always have the option of just going around into the right corner. I think that that's fine. That's affirmative. Okay. It's uh, it's a mission that I would like to try to get all of the loot on though, because you do have stuff you want to be building, and it sells for a lot of supply. Okay. We get loot on this though. Assuming that we like kill enemies without explosives, we should be getting three or four loot drops. And we have Vulture, so like Close on average, five loot items, six loot items. Be pretty nice. Alright, So we could be flanked by a patrol walking down that way. But I suspect if they do that, they're going to kick cover behind that watch explosive watch device. Watch. Yeah, that seems very good for us. Yeah, exactly. Heading there now. Maybe it actually was like an intact building before a Sky Ranger arrived. <laughs> Landed on but it. it. Yeah, exactly. Like lands on that half of the building, puts the ramp out so that we can get on the roof on the other half. Yeah. 
They can't shoot us. They're not. They're not. Okay. Yeah. Still green. Okay. It's kind of amusing. So, uh, question in chat says, uh, who is he playing with and how is he doing it? The, the name of the stream is XCOM 2 Tutorial Series with Joe and Ribs. What do you do there? Just have a bot, a drone deploy to their house with like a note? <laughs> What's your like, what do you do to make that information conveyed clearly? One of my favorite imageries is the idea of somebody like having a box arrive at their house in the mail and they open it and it's just my laughter. Just <laughs> I'm just laughing at like they just hear me laughing inside the box. Um, now I just I just like answer questions whenever anybody asks me anything. Hmm. I just assume that they're like I don't know on mobile and can't read the stream title or drunk and can't read the stream title or. But doesn't that that only works up to a point though? Because sooner or later you end up answering the same cool. set of questions. It's an unbelievable yeah. number of times. I have the luxury of not being very popular yet, ah, so that that's helps. an advantage. And it slowly like chips away at your your willingness to be a decent human being. Like that goes pretty quick, in fact. <laughs> All right. Good to know. <laughs> Ah, it's probably sectoid. What's the hack gonna give us? If you could read minds, what would you say? Reflexes and override. What's override? It's like a mind control on a robot. That's true. That's true. The dragon dunk. That I don't have to be the one to answer it. But I do try. I mean. Part of that is I try to answer my viewers' questions. It's just some questions. My willingness to do that goes down. Uh, all right, so we're a million miles away. This is kind of annoying that this is taking up all my my stuff here. Would you move around it through here and just try to engage? Just try to find targets. I'd love to kill something behind that fence because the fence feels like it'd probably be destructible. Yeah. Yeah, I think that moving forward is good. I think. Eh. I sort of hate going through the house to the right. And I want to shoot things with laser guns. Yeah, yeah. I kind of want to go forward to like there. Feels like a very good way to aggro. Ah, oh, man. I don't see good ways to uh, put to get line of sight around here or around there without being really close. How do you feel about dashing with the specialists to, uh... No, uh, it won't give me overwatch in the moment. Give me overwatch at the end, huh? Yeah, I've ever vigilant on the ranger, not the specialist. So I think dashing with the ranger is not that bad. Well, it won't trigger to the end of the turn, though, right? So if I aggro, then I don't get those shots this turn. Yeah, but at least you're still on overwatch. Are we doing strategy layer video things soon? -ish? Uh, I can do it. I have time to do things this Monday through Wednesday. Oh, wait. So, Toronto, we will answer your question sometime soon on YouTube. But it's a really difficult question. Toronto was asking one to put havens on supply. It's just like not that easy to answer. That'd be a good one. All right. We'll do. Let's just find a drone. Okay. Double sectoids. Close to detecting you. Sectoids have decent detection range. Oh, you had plenty of time. I think vigilance got toned down from what it was in 1.0. Okay. 
guess we should look at how long the evac timer is going to be, huh? Yeah, I suspect it will be five. So it might be good getting it down this turn. Yeah, maybe if we shifted to the right, so we were only fighting the sectoid pod. Yeah, five turns. But we're going to end up fighting them both, right? These guys are going to patrol towards us. Yes. Presumably. Or we could just fight the guys to the left, even. I hear that. The sectoids are less threatening on yellow alert because...